da 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 Hey there everyone, this is Aokao, playing ASMT, we're in this cave now, world 5, after that shell, here we I remember this level getting trouble until I realized, like, you gotta understand that there's... Basically, I used to just always, like, just kick that shell violently. But that's all you gotta do, really, is, like, walk into it gently, and here, uh, I don't know what happened, but... Something that I guess I wasn't following it very well, and yeah, it's gonna happen. Or maybe like just giving it a little touch like that is not enough. That's also possible. But yeah, like I would constantly like just like chuck it, like you know, and you know what? When you do that, it goes out with a lot of force, making it very unlikely that you're gonna be able to play catch up with it. Let alone play catch up with it, whatever that means. Oh shoot, man, saw that little bit of hesitation I showed because of these guys. That's right, I paid the price. So the smart thing to do is to not give up immediately. I know it's tempting, but by killing him now and just d destroying all the enemies here, if I return back, then I can just kind of follow it and be at peace. There's still that one enemy there's there, like, uh, power-up in any of these. Power-up zone. I never noticed how nice the question, like, the, the, the question mark on the block, how nice it is. You know, you don't got a huge canvas to play with to do some nice animation here, so walk into it. Alright, so now there's no more enemies. Just need to make sure that I do the jump good, which, you know, is not a given. Here, I'm allowed to slow down a little bit, yeah, because it's, it's a little irony that if you do just touch it like that, you might not want to be running full pin because you're gonna overtake it. But here we go. The, the course continues. I said course there, like I mean course, like I mean uh, a race. Whoops, you gotta follow the coin. Coin guys are always accurate most of the time. Alright, here's a bunch of nonsense. And then you're like, whoosh, last second Jimmy. That's why they'll never call me. Cause first of all, it wasn't last second and I'm not Jimmy. Like there's multiple reasons why it's just not a very appropriate nickname at all. I think I was supposed to go on top of it. They are supposed to jump on top of the structure. Don't let yourself be confused by the news. Uh, if they mention an elephant, it means Brad Pitt. All right, so I, th uh, well, here I messed up my jump. So I gotta do it again, but that is okay. Here we go. A little nudge. I still need to have, yeah, my, my full run here. To be able, oh, I don't know why my full run just kind of stopped here. Um, right, I'll take this as an opportunity to destroy this man. Might as well destroy this bat. Might as well, like, clean up a little bit, make it a bit less scary. But my timer is getting kind of real low here while I'm playing the level in a way that it was definitely 100% never be meant to be played before. I I'm just ruining things here for, uh, for everyone. I think trouble with what should be pretty simple jumps here though. That's always fun. There we go. So it's so- <sighs> You didn't jump! Like I press a jump button! And I felt the button, like, dip inside my controller, but... Nothing to it. It's probably... The hill. Oh, shoot! Oh, it's fine, though! Okay, I was a bit uh, afraid there, because I backed up, but I was going fast enough. So I'm probably gonna die of time out here in this alternate universe. Where it just auto scrolls. Like, we are now. Demo's just running on her own now. Uh, she's done following instructions of a shell. She's just running of her own accord. This is just kind of happening. You can sit down and enjoy a nice ride there, but then you get here and it's like, oh boy, this is scary. This is scary. I gotta react, like, at bullets just kind of appearing. And a little pushpin slime, and he's kind of scary, you know, he's like, whoa, will I jump, will I not jump, will I pretend to jump, will I one day be the essence of jump, I don't know. This is the bone room where everyone who has a bone to pick hangs out. Yeah, you don't get a power-up, 
Like, if you don't, the only power up, the only embiggening you have is a midpoint, so you only have it once. That's an unfortunate decision. I don't know if it's on purpose or not, like they just didn't think about it. But, yeah, once you become a one-hit weenie, this does become a lot harder. Uh, let's see how this is gonna go as we run away from all of our troubles. Whoa, you can just a slight kill. I just jump. I saw I saw an enemy, and I jump. That's what I always do. Whoa. They want you to jump. They want you to panic. Alright, look, like, is it just me or does the bullet appear? Like, it does not come from the right side of the screen. It appears at an earlier date than that. Whoops. I don't know, like, I just... Or is it because they're set up behind the columns? I just kind of jump, ah, jump randomly and then right into that guy. Oh, 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 mountain. Ah. Whoa, why did I jump? I would have been safe, but I didn't expect to be safe. You know, I see, like, the bullet, like, just appears suddenly. You, I don't think you can dodge that on reaction. Uh, you cannot react. You cannot react. No reasons given. Probably just an oversight. Underneath! Yeah! Man, wait. So I go and get a power-up, and I'm just gonna beat it without getting hurt? Because I- Okay, well, this is me going up Spiny Mountain, there's Sad Guy Slope, everyone having a good time. Gosh darn it, well, that doesn't prove anything, doesn't it? I would've been a lot easier, though, if I was allowed to get hit. <laughs> then I go and I just do it without getting hit. Oh, universe, you're such a fool, you're such a clown. Color Crave Cave, I kind of remember that. I don't know why I'm going all the way back down there. Color Crave Cave, then a fortress? I don't know. It depends. I remember, hey, another place that filters you for, for reasons. Um, Color Crave Cave, and here you lose the Layer 3 macro. It's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, it's a world without- you know what? Minimal color makes sense that a game that would be made to my taste would feature at least one of these. Uh, so once upon a time, like, there was a Nico Nico LP -er who tried to play that game, and this level, of all things, was his breaking point. This is the level that made him abandon the Japanese ASMT LP. I'm not talking about Ryu. Ryu went through the whole game. He had a blast. That other guy whose name I forget, though, he did not. I think he just, like, didn't, like, furiously misunderstood some part at the end. But hey, you know what? It happens. Check it out, my fireballs are white. They're actually balls of... pretzels. That doesn't make any sense, foul cow. They're white out, obviously, so that's a resetto if you need one. Do you need a reset? I can stand on these blocks all day and forget about my molasses inquiries. Everyone's got some of those. Well, Demo forgot hers. There we go, it's a big skull. There's a block. Bow, bow, bow. There's a knot. There's a skull floating there. There is Charlie in your hair. And there, that is just a giant super macroscopic view of your hair. You in particular, the one watching this. How we managed to get that info to make this level? Well, some questions are better off never answered. Alright, yeah, the free mushroom here. And here I get a free... Oh. Nightmare Zone collection. So many Nightmare Zones, so little time. Ah, doing a jump! We are mysterious people in the dark. 
The world is wide and without larks. Look at that Yoshi, it is gone. I need a P-switch somewhere. Gonna bounce on these guys. Look at him. Look at that. I don't know what I am doing. And that is just a fact. Bonk. Can you grab that, like, weird, like, P with the thing? No, you cannot pick it up. It is its own individual who will forever reside in a nightmare state in between folds of butter. Hey, look at that. You do this here and you go here. Maybe do something up there? Probably. I don't know. Get some coin. Springy board. Leprechaun. So that is a silver P. I probably pressed it too early. Oh, whoops. Well, I express the other one now. Eh. Yeah, so it was this part who completely bamboozled that player. I don't know, I don't remember how, because I find it would be very difficult to be bamboozled by what I just played right now. I don't mean to judge or anything, I'm just extremely con- Although, however, it is worth noting that the 2018 edition of the game that I'm playing, I believe right now, does have some changes beyond just making it, like, eligible to be played with accurate emulators. So maybe there was some kind of remix in there, but I don't think so. Like, I really, really do not believe so. So I don't know, here's a castle. Panic in the house- Oh, there's two exit! And the second exit is a nightmare. You know what? After my honeypot trap excursion, I'm done. I'm past the 15 minutes of recording. I'm strictly speaking at 16 minutes 37 seconds right now. I'm gonna cool it. You know what? I'm gonna slow down. Because we're at the, you know, we're past the halfway point. Things are getting more serious. Things can get airy. This is what we're doing here. We're doing a weird cave and then a weird cave. Both weirds in unique ways. Uh, 